working well. Hello, hello, welcome to the start of a brand new week. Hello Facebook, hello YouTube. How is everybody today? Hope you're all safe and well. Uh, welcome back to my bedroom. It's all a little bit chaotic this morning because I was on this morning. And it's just a mad, I mean, Monday, I don't know about you, but Monday mornings always seem to be just a bit of extra. I don't know why. I suppose maybe it's coming off the back of a quietish weekend. Uh, anyway, it's Makeover Monday. Yes, that little strand that we've been doing here. And so I'm here at my dressing table. I'm going to be joined by another fab female founder, Grace, who founded this brilliant brand called Studio 10, which I only discovered quite recently. And I think it's great and it's really good for older skins, so like me. So I thought that would be a really good one to just delve into, find out a little bit more about it. And I just love being joined by the actual founder. Yeah, having the real, the real deal, talking live here or perhaps on catch up if you're watching me on YouTube. By the way, I just posted a little thing about YouTube. The Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel is up and running. Do go to it, take a look, click subscribe so that you get your notifications through because I am recording a whole series on menopause, perimenopause and all sorts. I'm also going to be doing um, a little video film of all the different supplements I take and why, there, and some that I don't take and why. So I think there are some that deliver a lot of bang for your buck, if you like, that are worth it, and some not so much. So I just thought the easiest thing would be to record a whole little film in a way that's easy to look at and share and watch. I know so many now actually want to put YouTube up on the big screen. You can connect your phone or your iPad or whatever to the TV, which is a bit of a terrifying thought, but uh, it's a nice platform and there's lots of comments on there, lots of chat about menopause. And actually, I was looking at the Menopause Doctor Instagram over the weekend, and I'm just so enraged by the amount of misinformation and the number of women who have just had their lives trashed with misinformation and lack of help and support. So, knowledge is power, and that's what we're all about here. So do go and take a look, and thank you for all the comments on that. It's, it's really important to share, and to share positive news which is what we're going to do here today. Positive vibes. Hi there. Very nice to see you. Hi. Thank you very much. Haskapa berry. Yeah, lots of Haskapa berry powder being delivered. That amazing purple berry elixir. This great powder that you can add to smoothies and yogurts and mueslis and all sorts. Make a tea. Who made a tea with it at the weekend? I did. It's absolutely delicious. Sweetened with a tiny bit of honey. Really, really good. And um, it's actually the colour of my, my top. It's a really beautiful colour. And what was interesting talking to Dr. Evie, the founder, about it, is the fact that it's this double purple berry. You know, we know that purple berries and fruits and veg are really good for us because they have these anthocyanins in them, these really powerful antioxidants. And so blueberries, for example, are really good because you get all the anthocyanins in the skin. But if you bite into a blueberry, you'll see that its flesh is pale. Whereas apparently, if you bite into a Haskat berry, it's dark purple, so you get double benefit. And she was so interesting. She's a, a hospital consultant, she's a proper medical doctor, and she started this amazing Haskat berry farm over in Nova Scotia. So it was just genius. I love, love, love chatting to her. Another fab female founder. Well, before I connect with today's female founder, I just have a couple of notices to share. Um, one, a little bit of a sneak preview, which I'm really excited to share. Any day now, if you are a subscriber to the Lizard Wellbeing magazine, you will get your brand new issue. Yes, we pressed the print button and I've just had the proof of the cover. Da -da -da. So this is the new cover. That's what to look out for. That's what it will look like coming through your letterbox very soon if you're a subscriber that's the the back of the magazine so it basically um it goes like that i get this this print um this printout proof basically just to approve and sign off before we print the whole magazine so that's what it will look like and there is a brand new subscription gift if you are a new subscriber or if you'd like to share a subscription with a friend, perhaps somebody who's you know feeling a bit low, needs a bit of a pick-me-up. We're bi-monthly, so if you're new and watching me for the first time, the magazine comes out every other month and it's jam-packed with ways to look good and feel better. That's the important thing, isn't it? 
keep our immune systems strong and all of that. And I'm delighted to say that we have a subscription gift from Studio 10, who I'm going to be talking about in a minute. Um, and the subscription gift is going to be a voucher to use £10 off on their website. So if you like the sound of anything that we talk about today, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat, um, and want to go and spend your voucher, then you can do that if you are a subscriber. So you have to use direct debit. There's a link on the Lizard Wellbeing website. Um, and basically what happens is if you take out a subscription, they send you the magazine, they process it, and it takes about 10 days to then email the voucher through. So it doesn't come through immediately, but you do get it. So isn't that a nice thing? So let's see if we have Grace in the house, Studio 10 makeup, yes. Hopefully, I've thrown my children off all the gadgets, all the devices, Wi-Fi is locked down, just focusing on here. So hopefully we'll get good connectivity. Hello, Grace. Hi, how are you? I am really well. It's very nice to see you and to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry, our friends on Facebook, obviously I can't split the screen for Facebook or YouTube, so you can listen to what Grace has to say. Instagram, of course, has the delight of seeing you as well as hearing you. But I've got some of your lovely things here, so you know I can show and tell a lot of what we talk about. Um, because I'm really oh, interested great. in your brand, because it does really specialise in looking after the older woman, is that right? Yeah, it's, it's formulated for mature skin, and you know this from your sort of skincare background. Um, when I was in my 40s, I thought, I don't use the same skincare in my 40s as I did in my 20s, so why do I use the same makeup? Because my skin's different, yeah. my lifestyle's different, everything about my skin has changed, and I thought... yeah. Why aren't I upscaling or changing my makeup routine? And I love makeup because it's instant and it's transformational. Yeah. And I always say makeup is the that you wear on your face. But it's so confusing and intimidating, isn't it? There are yeah. hundreds of products and colors and skews and textures and department stores. And I just thought I need to simplify it. So yeah. it's formulated for mature skin, but made so easy so it's easy no i love that on. you have no makeup on you look amazing oh, makeup <laughs> look on just for you, you know, uh, well i'm sorry i mean i do very often when i do my monday makeovers i do sit here uh, as my lovely friends here know with no makeup on but i was on telly this morning so i had to put just a little bit of slap on just um Otherwise, it would scare the nation. So thank you very much for braving us with, with no makeup. Now, tell me, what was your journey? Did you start life as a makeup artist or as a, as a businesswoman? What's your background? Um, I started life as a businesswoman in branding and marketing mm. so in my 20s. And, and then I moved into, through a branding uh, client that I had, um, into makeup and beauty and then really started my career in the makeup uh, industry with Gemma Kid Makeup. I did a lot of her brand development. Oh gosh, I love Gemma. I, I haven't seen her for um, a long time. Yeah, I mean she, her ability obviously as a makeup artist but to produce yeah. products that has the most amazing textures and ingredients and how it interacts with skin is really where I built that knowledge. And then I sort of hit my 40s and thought, I'm frustrated. Mm. I want to use makeup. And, you know, what you said is quite interesting in terms of, well, I don't really wear makeup every day. I'm a really big advocate of, yeah. you know what, wear a little bit of makeup every day because if you look in the mirror and you look tired, you're going to feel tired. If you look feel tired, you're going to look it. So why look tired? Now, that is why a really good point. Baseball? That's a really good point. Actually, I, I did put on a little bit of makeup yesterday, and you're so right. I did feel better. I had some quite dark shadows under my eyes, and I just put on a little bit of concealer and a little bit of cheek blusher, and I instantly look brighter. And you're right, you do catch yourself. And actually, if you catch yourself and you go, oh, dear, it instantly lowers you. So it's not that we should be so obsessed about how we look, because I don't think we should, but there are things that definitely help to give us a lift. And let's face it, we all need a little bit of a lift right now. Exactly. I think I was called by a journalist. They sort of said, Grace, you're like spanked for the face. And I just <laughs> love it. So it's not, when we think makeup, we think fashion, get the look, smoky eyes, celebrity, catwalk. That's not Studio 10. Studio 10 yeah. is 
almost an extension from your skincare morning routine with coverage, with a bit of a boost, with a bit of a lift, your best face forward. And I just think it's so powerful because it's not just about looking your best. It's about feeling your best feeling your most confident, feeling your most beautiful. And you know what? At a time when most of us feel invisible, we don't yeah. feel as attractive, it's such aging, middle age is such a negative yeah, it can in be. society. And I just thought, no, we need to change that mm. because we're just as beautiful. I always say, mm. you know, true beauty is ageless. Yeah. It has no end of it. Completely. And I think actually also from a, a kind of a practical point of view, wearing makeup a little bit of makeup is actually protective because you're using these pigments and these minerals on your skin which protect they have a natural sunscreening property they protect you against environmental pollution you know they are a very good barrier for helping to seal in moisture and all of those things so you know it's not just cosmetic there is a benefit as well a physiological benefit absolutely and actually a lot of my products are formulated with skincare ingredients and they're beautiful textures. And I think the other thing is when we think makeup, we think we have these amazing skincare regimes and then we put makeup on top and it it aggravates the skin or it looks heavy and it's cakey and it's drying. Formulas aren't like that today. They really are an extension yeah. of skincare with coverage. We've put beautiful ingredients in our products. We've put SPF because it's all formulated for mature skin. But I think the key thing for me is it's your skin but better. So yeah. if unless you're doing a beautiful look to go out, my everyday makeup, and I will show it to you, which is four right. products. It is slap four. and go. Sl- slap and go. I love it. <laughs> which I get told <laughs> off by my PR agent saying, you're not allowed to say that as a founder. And I'm like... But it's true. Just slap it on and go. That's what we want. <laughs> slap it on. So what? So what? What? What do you start with then? What? What's your first bit of slap and go? Okay. So number one is coverage, because as we age, we get sun damage, get pigmentation, yeah, dark oh circles, yeah. redness. You know, the skin tone isn't as even, and we want to just even out the skin tone. So. That could be concealer, that could be a tinted moisturiser, that could be a foundation. But coverage is absolutely key. If you do nothing else, okay. at least just even up the skin tone. So, foundation. A couple of tricks on foundation. Yeah, I'm actually going to... Women like tinted moisturiser. my hair back so I can do a bit too. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We like tinted moisturisers because they feel so beautiful on the skin. They're light, it's a veil really feels good on the skin. The problem with a tinted moisturiser as you age or a mineral mineral foundation, it doesn't give us coverage. So you right. don't want to use a tinted moisturiser and then have to use a concealer and under eye brightener. It's too complicated and it takes yeah. too much time. So find a foundation that has a medium coverage. It could be a cream or it could be a liquid. Mm-hmm. But you want to make sure it gives you coverage. Yeah. So I use mine. And I, I developed one which meant I could use one product. I didn't want to be using concealers. Is that in here? Top. Yeah. Ooh. So, Look at that. Um, what's so lovely about this is the texture, and this is really important. So grab your makeup bag, have a look at the product that's in there. What's really important is finish on mature skin. We yeah. don't want anything that's matifying. I avoid powders because I think powder looks like powder on the skin at a time mm. when your skin's much drier. So you want a finish that's dewy because mm. you need to yeah. add some natural glow and dewiness back to the skin because generally our skin is flatter. It's, I mean, I use oils, I use skincare, but my skin is much drier in the way that it looks. And yeah, same. Skin. So what I like about... So what, what, what are these two things here? I've got a long one and a little one. What are they? That's because you've got two shades, uh-huh. mix and match to get your perfect colour. Clever. Cover and colour. And in the summer, you know, when your skin changes... Yeah, you'd changed, want to go more here, wouldn't you? Yeah, What a good idea. The other thing I get really frustrated about, and I'm going to put lots on so you can really see that coverage. Yeah. But when it blends, it's so creamy, it's so light... Once you blend it into the skin and buff it into the skin, it will look as though I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm actually going to put some on top here because it is a really nice texture. I have to say, you're right, it's creamy and it doesn't cake. 
Yeah, which you just... The thing about products that are too powdery, that are heavy, that are cakey, they actually sit in fine lines. So Studio 10 is not about looking younger. We can never, we can never achieve that. It's yeah. about being the very best version, the most beautiful and confident version of your age, being proud. I'm but you know what? Yeah, but is younger. And that's the other thing. You don't want to look tired. You don't want no. to look like you need to go to sleep because most no. women included... You know, we're we're always permanently exhausted. <laughs> we're flipping my R. <laughs> oh my I, goodness! I I love the idea that you have two because I actually have two foundation colours usually on the go. Um, I tend to find that I'm a thirty or a forty. I'm more of thirty in the winter. That tends to be kind of an industry standard, and then a forty in the summer. And I keep both together and I mix and match. And as we get you know more into the summer months, I'm spending a bit more time outside. I go yeah. darker, but I love this. And also, presumably, you could use this if you wanted to do a little bit of shading. I like putting a little bit yeah. of shading so, under my chin. So, two things. Because I'm not a makeup artist, for me, it's developed by a real woman for real women. And it really frustrated me, the beauty industry, saying, well, you need one colour for the summer and different colour for the yeah. winter and different textures. And I thought, you know what? I don't want that. I want one product I can use all year round. And then the other part, as you said... Because with foundation, I always say you don't need to put it all over your face. Because it's so creamy, you can use it as a concealer. Just so use it where you need it. Where you need it. Mm -hmm. I do have to wear it all over my face because I've got quite a lot of spots. I've got vitiligo. I've got... So I like not to mask, but I want to even out my skin tone. Yeah. And you can see it's slightly... Yeah, she looks great. I mean, you, 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 you really do. You, you could just do that and leave it like that and know that you've protected your skin as well. How many different shades does this come in? This, is, this one is called Foundation 2. What, what are the options for people with different skin tones? Uh, light, medium, dark, rich. Um, Great. There are two shades in each. So it covers the spectrum. But actually, about um, what you said about giving you that coverage, it's also got SPF 30. Because wow. I just want that extra added protection. Yeah. I use Factor 50 all, every day, all year round, mm. but I still want that added protection. And then I think the key thing about foundation is make sure you blend and buff. Blend and buff, okay. Like your skin uh -huh. better and not as though you're wearing foundation. I really love the idea of using a brush, actually, and just, just smoothing it into the skin. Yeah. It feels really is clean. It, it feels really nice. I'm just using a little concealer brush, brush here. Mm. It's got a finger end. Yeah. So you can really go into the inner. Yeah, I like that. Under, and because it's so creamy, you can use it under the eye area, which is much more delicate, and it won't sit in fine lines. Yeah. So for me, it's what product does all with the goal to just even out the skin tone and give it a natural dewiness. Yeah. A couple of questions here coming up on Instagram. I can see. What's the best way to choose your foundation shade? Um, it's very similar. Light, medium, dark, rich. Generally, most most women cover the medium spectrum. And I think it's because it's mm. so creamy, you can buff it. It sort of moulds with your skin colour. Yeah. yeah. The great thing about Video 10, which no other makeup brand does this. And this is, once again why we're different is it's hard to buy makeup online yeah it is i said you know what buy our product get it home for 30 days 30 days use it every single day you up use all of it and if at the end of the 30 days you're like it's not quite for me or the color doesn't quite work you send it back we'll give you a, a full refund that's so, amazing or about the colour, buy two, send send one back. Gosh, that's amazing. And, uh, that's really, really good. And the other thing for me is, I've done it before. I've been into a department store, had all my makeup done. Mm. Looks amazing. Not quite me. That's the other thing. I still want to be me. And I thought, well, it's not quite me, but great if I'm going out. And then I'm at home and I can't recreate it. Mm. And I just thought, that's, that doesn't work. All I want... For me, what I'm passionate about is women to feel their most confident, feel good on the inside as much as the outside. So now we do I... we do have a Liz loves by the way because I know a lot of people are saying already. My goodness, I'm going to go shopping on the website. So yes, Liz loves in capitals, um, all one word in the little checkout box, and that gets you twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. 
percent. I know. That's so amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. For makeup, you know, I feel like I'm an evangelist. Wear a little bit of makeup. You know? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna make us all feel <laughs> so much better. And do it for you. You know, because I have so many women going, well, I put makeup on when I'm going out or I'm going to the shops or... And yeah. I was like, no, it's it's part of your everyday routine. Yeah. Give yourself that boost. So and I've got want... here, just I'm being asked what I'm using here. This is foundation one and foundation two. So foundation one and two. So, so foundation perfect one for me. is your sort of skin colour. So it's yeah. more slightly pink undertone, blonde. Medium is my colouring, all the way up to, actually, because it's got the darker tone, sort of yeah. light in. Yeah, you can see that darker one. I mean, for me, I would use that, I would mix that in in the summer. I love the idea of kind of using the brush and mixing the two together. But mm. then, um, you know, I'm always very conscious of not having a particularly good jawline. And I do actually use a little bit of, you know, kind of bronzing powder or darker shadow just to give that illusion of a bit of shadow yeah. under my jawline. Contouring is, and that's the other reason why I put it there, that you can create not the Kim Kardashian... Yeah, artist, not the kind of tiger stripes, yeah. but a little yeah. bit of something. So and I know not... Ke Ke Kerry September, who in fact put me on to oh, Studio love 10. Kerry. Love Kerry. And, you know, she, she gets quite cross when I, when I call it contouring. She says, you don't want to do contouring, Liz, but you do want to do a bit of shaping, just Absolutely. to give your, your face a little bit of extra shape. Yeah, totally agree. The principle of contouring is light and shade. That's what you're playing with. But when we use the word contouring, it it doesn't resonate with most women in their 40s and 50s. So mm. I call it shapewear, a little bit of shape, a little bit shape. of shade. Like those spanks for the face. Spanks, where we got the phrase from. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, it doesn't make us very sexy, though, the bra and knickers of the makeup world. But it does a job of work. And you know what? We all need a little mm. bit of help. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Now, where, tell me about this. Is, is is this going to be the next thing? Because I, I got this. This was the first thing I ever got from you, actually, and I absolutely love it. I, honestly, I, it's hard because it's my own brand. This is a miracle skin worker. I love I it. It's the plumping blush. Low flexion. So, number one, even out the skin tone. Yeah. Right? Off face or where you need it. Think about the texture. Think about the finish. So now I've got a lovely skin tone, even tone, but we need colour. We need that flush of healthy colour. Most women mm. move and tend to use bronzers. And I like bronzer in the summer if you want to create that natural tan, you're not getting your face in the sun. But mm. all year round, you don't want to go around with a tanned face when it's dark and grey. And yeah, it my looks too artificial. girlfriend, Dar, is a redhead. She's porcelain skin. Her skin is gorgeous. She never tans her face, but she needs that flush of colour. We yeah. need healthy colour, which we lose as we age. Lots so, of people saying that this is a game changer, the plumping blush. It is our best-selling... Is it? I just love that colour. I mean, that is just such a clever colour that was going to work on, you know, so many skin tones, isn't it? The majority, for it sure. It works on all skin tones. Yeah. And the colour is really important because it's peach and I always say peach is a girl's best friend because peach has an orange undertone if Kerry's listening she'll love this okay has an orange undertone and it's the orange that gives warmth so that's why like bronzers it's the orange undertone that warms up the skin okay peach, peach always ha also has pink and it's pink that brightens and freshens love pink. So I always say that wear, wear pink next to your skin because it reflects light in the face and then I've got, Liz, light reflecting pearl, very, very mm. soft gold tone. So it's not silver, mm. it's not stroby. And this is the trick. This is a complexion pick-me-up. This is three weeks in Barbados with, and, yes, you know, please. in a bottle. <laughs> so this is the trick. That's how it looks it's, on my hand. It's amazing. And also blush. I and mean, I say this passionately, move away from powder. Because powder sits yeah. on top of the skin the powder sticks to your emulsion or your foundation and it it will always be on top of the skin we don't want to look like we're wearing makeup we want to look like we've got no. beautiful radiant healthy glowing skin so for me yeah as mature it's and really do you use your, your fingers do you put it on with your fingers i use my brush because so a little bit on the apple of the cheek 
So we've got that lovely, healthy. It's so easy. I mean, this is really tough to do. And just onto the cheekbones because it's got the light reflecting pearl. Oh, so it has. Nice. And then you can buff it. So liquid creme blushes are so much nicer on mature skin. Yeah, not cakey, not drying, just a bit of a glow. I act, I'm not surprised that's your bestseller. Absolutely love that. And this is the Grace's trick of the century. Put it a little bit on your forehead, just as you would bronzer. Because you don't want to look like your own blusher. You want to look like your complexion is healthy. Yep. A little down the nose, on the chin. I like to bring a little bit down onto my neck. So as you said, you like to almost put a little bit of shading a little bit down your neck so it just brightens and lifts mm. and I've really noticed that with my neck yeah you know so I, when I started well my 50s you can your face changes that's the thing so we need to change our makeup routine and I, I normally put a little bit just here because yeah. my, my skin tone is different. I think all the decades of, you know, getting a bit of sun exposure here. If I wear something that's a bit lower, I'm going, oh, my goodness, there's a kind of white patch. So I'll often yeah. sort of fill that in and actually emphasize the cleavage, should you want to, then just a little bit. You know, that was a trick I was taught ages ago, just pop a little bit of blusher Absolutely. there. <laughs> and then the last, just literally Ooh, a light veil through your eyelids because you know the eye area we carry quite a lot of our tiredness so you want to brighten the, the yeah. eye area that's a really good little trick just that so if you did nothing else for the no makeup 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 lady if you did yeah. nothing nothing else just those two and you're done so look just from when i first there yeah i mean it's just i've got no actual definition but yep. it's yeah Healthy, glowing, radiant skin. Excellent. So what else do we have here? Because you said you've got four four steps. So we've done the first two. First two. In fairness, step one usually is a primer. Okay. But because as we age, the texture of our skin really changes. So if you put a good primer, it creates an even base. But what I wanted yeah. to do today is pare it down so tightly that nobody would think oh that's too complicated yeah so if you're going to do a primer coverage number one number two you then need to boost you need color you need radiance in the complexion and you want that healthy flush of color and then two key areas which is shapewear this is like lipwear and browwear so important to mm -hmm. add definition and frame our face so, number one, brows. And I'm sure you've heard it so many times. Brows, yeah. brows, brows, brows. Because they thin, you know. They do. And they don't frame the face. And the other thing is where we've got fine lines and wrinkles. I get asked lots, you know, what can I do with fine lines and wrinkles? How can I cover them? You know, you can't unless you're going to go on and do other things. So, yeah. what you want to do is create frame parts yeah, of your face. Yeah, just around here. Absolutely. And also give yourself a bit of a brow lift. So yes, brows are so important. I can't mm. begin to tell anybody. So pencil, very easy. Light, very light. And I like pencils because you're drawing in your brows. You don't have to worry about mixing and matching and gels and too yeah. complicated. Yeah. So you just draw light feathery strokes. You're filling okay. in the brows. But this is a great trick. If you want to give yourself a little brow lift, mm -hmm. lift the brow like that. And then as you draw in, just draw the top part Ooh. of that line. Yeah. So you're almost drawing in a lift. Like it. <laughs> I know. I've got so many little tricks of the trade. <laughs> and then extending it, because my, my, my eyebrows sort of peter out about here. And I yes. like to just give them a little bit of a more elegant sweep. So I usually <laughs> fake a little bit at the end. Exactly, which is what I've done. So look at that brow compared to that one. I mean, I don't yeah. need that. I mean, I'm afraid you can't see Facebook, but it is, it, it's, a, it's a really good difference. 
it's a really good difference. And, you know, if you've got thin eyebrows, if you, you know, genetically they thin with age or, you know, maybe you overpluck them as a youngster and they just now don't grow back anymore. It's such a good way to just fake a little bit. And it's it's amazing. I actually dye my eyebrows from time to time. And the difference it makes, it just makes my yeah. face look instantly more youthful. Absolutely. And then on the other end, so where you add shade... You know, the principle is that you you add light, so that highlights or lifts. So on the other end of my pencil, because once again, I've made Ooh. it easy. You know, they say, well, highlight your brow bone. It's like, well, where's the, hi where's the highlighter? Is it in a compact? So on the other end, I've just got a flesh colored. It's not glittery. It's not a high. It's oh, yeah, a natural, natural skin highlight. And where, where do you put this? Just underneath on your brow bone. Oh, OK. Oh, yes just to give a little bit of highlight. How very clever to put the two together in one pencil. But it's easy, That's, it's just, it's almost like... Yeah. It's could could you use this elsewhere? Could you use this yeah, as so a... Yeah, this, this is a brilliant trick, and I'm sad that uh, Facebook, uh, your Facebook followers can't see it, but this, white big eyes, right? We want to brighten the eye area, especially mm -hmm. if you've got hooded eye pits, you want to open them up. But using the flesh coloured mm -hmm. in the inner corner, right on the inner corner of your eye, just draw a line. It doesn't need to be exact on the top lash line. Oh, interesting. I have never in my life done that before. I've drawn dark lines with like eyeliner. So you need to use dark to add a little bit of definition, but... As we age, as we get hooded eyelids, actually what we want to do is bright. But look at the difference in that, this eye compared to that, that eye. That has made a big difference. You're going to go and have to have a look on IGTV later. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's such a quick trick. I love so the fact that it's all together in the one pencil. And then if you want to use a little bit of eyeliner, you want to put some mascara on, that's fine. If you don't, at least I feel I've got some natural yeah, shape. Yeah, a little bit of shape and definition. That is so good. That is so good. So um, look, that's three parts, and how easy is that? That's three. What's number four? So it's the complement. I'm going to do my other eyebrows so I don't look completely... Yeah, not only too wonky. <laughs> It was a makeup artist who said, Grace, you really need to do your brows. And I'm like, oh, I can't be doing my brows every day, which is why I made it so easy with a pencil. Yeah. But anyone who's got brow products out there, when you're looking or you want to buy a product, obviously ours is amazing, um, the colour's really important. A lot of brow products are too warm, they've got too much red, they've got too much orange, and they're too dark. Yes. This it has to be ashy. It's got to be almost That's a like good a grey. Do you see that? Because you want it's it to colour. mimic. And we developed this with Look Good, Feel Better, the cancer charity. Oh, really? Draw in brows who have no brows. And it oh. is all about, all about the colour, colour, colour. Yeah. So it's all those the trade yeah. that actually make it... Because for me, it's natural. I want it to be my skin, my brows, not makeup brows, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. And last key thing is where we've added definition to the top of the face, framed the face. Mm. It's almost like this is the bra of the face. This bit here. We, mm -hmm. need, we need to not leave the house without our knickers on. So the bottom <laughs> of the face, it's like bra knickers. Bra and it's full of, knickers, okay? You know, right, if you buy a beautiful new dress, you're never going to leave the house without your bra knickers. And let me tell you that the underwear I'm wearing at 54 doesn't resemble anything. No, oh my I'm, goodness. I've, I've, I've got two types, yeah, definitely, and I can tell you it, it's the it's the big girl pants that get put on most days. <laughs> but it's because it does a job of work, and I think it's the same yeah. with makeup. Makeup as a as a medium to transform, not makeup as in get the look. Does that make sense? So, yeah. you know, we're not very glam, and it's not very exciting at my end. I love you know doing tutorials on how to get a smoky eye. Am I too old to wear red lip? No, you're not. But day-to-day, -day, everyday makeup is transformational. Mm. So mm. lips, lips thin out, we lose collagen, yeah. slightly mixed. So we want to give, we want to frame this part of our face. And yeah. especially as you age, you know, I've got it. I can see it in my yeah. skin. Yeah, Jam. my mouth droops down and all of that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, so 
make a feature of your lips because that's what draws the eye. So lip liner, absolutely key because you want to create shape. Is that this down. one? Yeah. So the big thing about lip liner is match your lip liner to your lipstick or your lip gloss or your lip balm. And I thought, you know what? Who's going to have a drawer full of lip liners? And I yeah. thought, no, we've got to find a new way. So um, I worked very hard to get a shade that was lip coloured, mm -hmm. not lipstick coloured. And lip... Nice. You Look at that. That is totally my colour. <laughs> because lips are blue. They have blue in them. That's so interesting. Do you see that? It's kind of a, a, a bluey, bluey, pinky colour. You're so right. You are so right. Lips do naturally have a bit of blue. So do we, do we outline? Are you in favour of... Yeah, see, because it's lip coloured and I blend it in, you will not see... You will not know I've got lip liner on. So I like to just outline my lip, give yeah. it some shape. Particularly the upper lip. I find the upper lip can get really thin with age. Upper we lip. lose our collagen, our elastin, as, as we lose oestrogen, obviously. Exactly. And also, this is... This and is you can ma make it a little bit bigger. I actually cheat and do mine a little bit over. Well, I was just about to say that. Because it's lip-coloured, I've actually got men who use this product. So they can, you know, if they're on TV and stuff like that, because then they can create the shape and they can go over their lip line to even out the shape. I'm going to be this watching all the newsreaders now <laughs> in HD going, is he wearing lip liner? <laughs> I wonder if my friend Eamon wears lip liner. I'd love to message him. And then I just like to tap. So you don't even have to worry about putting anything on top. I like no, soft just that. And then I just do the cupids again, just so it's got really nice. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Yeah, it just gives you a little bit of something with nothing. So my lip, and then this is the trick. This is the my trick. My coloured highlight. If there's always another part to a Studio 10. So you know makeup artists always say put a little bit of highlight on they your They do, lips. just here, yeah. So with this flesh coloured, it's got to be very sharp. You just outline the cupid's bow. Oh, wow. No hard edges. Just look at that. We're very pouty. I love it. And it just gives that fullness... Yeah. Just a little bit of something. What do you and think? And then if you put it on yeah, a red are you liking it? Um, a glass. And if you don't, I mean, I sometimes put a balm on top. Yeah, I love your balm. Actually, this one um, I've been using. I don't know what the colour is. That one. Really, really pretty. One colour. It's just one shade because it's a... Uh, oh, great. I That's easy. A <laughs> balm and a gloss. A balm and a gloss. Nice. A treatment in one. So if you're going to put that on a little bit of shine, just put mm. it in the middle part of the lip. Oh, okay. And if, I, I like just do my lips like that. That's so nice. It's such a good look. And, you know, I could give this look to my, you know, 20-year-old daughter, my 30-year-old daughter, or my mum. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and it would work, wouldn't it? It would work for all of us. I think that's yeah. the kind of the foolproofness of it, which is so nice, especially if we are in lockdown and we've been, you know, not able to get to the shops and not likely to get to the shops maybe for a little bit longer. It's just good to have some stuff that's foolproof. I love the fact that you've got this 30-day money-back guarantee. That's extraordinary. Because I really want, I want people to, like, women to, it's a mindset. So get the products, try them, but work with them, live with them and see if they can make it be part of their routine. Mm. I promise, promise it will give everybody's such a boost it is just so transformational it's so powerful but if it's not quite right i've done that before where i've bought products and they'll fill up my top drawer yeah and i never them again and i just i don't want that i don't want that for studio 10 i would rather get the products back yeah but i i think the fact that you can literally pare it down to just a few things is is fab you know and i think the other thing as well you know the, the this sort i of love this the i love spanks. This is just, and yeah. it's great in body lotion. Just want a little bit. Oh, put a bit in body lotion. Actually, yeah. do you know what? I'm Gorgeous. sitting here. Um, I deliberately didn't wear too much because this is something that I do. And Kerry, if I'm working on, you know, a photo shoot or whatever, she will do a bit of definition. 
you know, on my shoulders or on my collarbones, just yeah. popping a little bit here. Can you imagine when we are allowed to, when we are eventually allowed to get back out and go into the sun or have a few days away somewhere or whatever, just a little bit of highlighter, just that healthy rosy glow. I mean, instantly it just looks, you look healthier and stronger and your body looks more supple and fit. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So nice, yeah, yeah. Grace. I, I, I could chat for ages, but we're going to have to go. But thank you. Thank you for braving the nation here with a naked face. I feel, I feel, you know what? I was going to say I feel like me now. Yeah. And it's not I hide behind makeup. I just feel my most beautiful, my best version of myself. And it, it is a boost, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for the generous okay. discount. We really appreciate it. Wish you huge amount of good luck with it. Let's chat again, shall we? And, and maybe look at some of the other colours and other ideas, because I feel that you've got a lot more tips and tricks up your sleeve, Grace. <laughs> I have. <laughs> thank you. Have a lovely week. Thanks for being with us today. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye-bye. Really I think you're going to have to remove yourself, Grace, because I'm just worried that if I click off that that's going to stop Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, wasn't that interesting? I thought so too. You know, I love talking directly to brand founders because I guess, you know, being one myself, you know, if you ask me to talk about my magazine, for example, I could talk for Britain about it and just tell you all the amazing things because I know it inside out and I'm passionate about it. That's why I do it. And I think when you do get the chance to actually talk to somebody who's invested, you know, not only financially, obviously, but all their time and energy and passion and love and knowledge and dedication. And then you get to, to talk to them in real life and say, OK, tell me, tell me about it. Tell me what it is. I love it. This, I think, the plumping blush um, is a bit of a tongue teaser, that isn't it? Plumping blush, glow plexion. Really, really love it. So just to remind you, we do have a Liz Loves, as Grace said, very generous. It is 20% off, and that's all full-priced Studio 10 products, excluding the collections and the gift sets because they're already discounted. Okay, so do go over and take a look. It's called studio10beauty.com. And as I mentioned before, my team have worked with Grace's team, and they have given us a £10 gift voucher to spend on anything, regardless of you know whatever you choose, if you want to spend it on a collection, for example, um, with the subscription to Liz Our Wellbeing, the new one just about to come out. So what is not to love? Now, just to remind you, um, if you already are a subscriber, but you're thinking about giving it as a gift to somebody, you can absolutely do that, and you can keep the voucher for yourself if you choose. So what you need to do in that case is when you go online and you subscribe, there's a little box for notes and you just fill it in and you just say, actually, do you mind emailing me the voucher? Otherwise it will go to the person who is getting the magazine. So I hope that's clear. Our magazine subscriptions are all handled by a company called Warners who are lovely, lovely people at Warners. Thank you for looking after us so well. Um, they have a team of people who've been working from home all the way through lockdown. There's their phone number on the website. You can ring them up, you can chat to them. If you've got any issues, any concerns, any comments, any questions um, about renewals or anything like that, then, then please do. And they're also very good on email as well. So you will find a link. I think Lainey, who is in the house today looking after Facebook, thank you very much, Lainey. I know that you can pop a link to the subscription there on Facebook. And there is a link on the uh, link tree. If you go to my bio. Um, I can see I've got so many new people joining us today so uh, thank you for staying with me and uh, tuning in today. If you have never seen these before I'm live on Instagram and Facebook every Monday, Wednesday, Friday lunchtime. Mondays we tend to do a bit of a makeover makeup Monday. I'm here in my bedroom. Um, excuse the mess, Facebook. You can see bits of stuff going on over there. It was a bit of a mad morning. Uh, on Instagram, we just get the nice sort of little view here. 
And then uh, Wednesday tends to be more kind of well-being Wednesday, lots of wellness chat that goes on. Maybe we talk about nutrition or, you know, some amazing new food or something like that. Or maybe I'm cooking in the kitchen. Friday is often flowers and fashion and home and just feel good things. But we kind of, we mixed up a little bit too. So before I go, we have some news. Um, the 10th series of my podcast launched on Wednesday. So lots of comments already coming in about that. And it was a really lovely episode. I actually re-listened to it at the weekend because I, you know, I record these um, sometimes months in advance. That one was recorded, I think, at the beginning of the year with Dr. Rupi, who is the, he was a, an NHS doctor. He works in critical care at the moment, so he's a super busy guy. And he founded Doctor's Kitchen, which is another really good follow on Instagram or Facebook. And he is just great. Seriously, if you haven't listened, then do head over. You just click onto your podcast app, whatever podcast app you have, whether you're Android or Apple or whatever, you can find it. Um, or you just go to Lizelle Wellbeing website and there's a whole section that says videos and podcasts. And if you click on podcasts, then I think I've got 260 something or other podcasts. And it's uh, the latest one. Actually, no, not the latest one. The latest one was Friday Five with Josh Wood talking about home hair colour, really interesting. A little bit more following on from my live with him on Instagram. Um, so, but the one from last Wednesday, and then of course the next one will be coming out this Wednesday. So that's my longer format podcast, which I am really enjoying. And in fact, I picked up this note here from Rachel, who left this on iTunes. Um, if you haven't let, yet left me a review on iTunes, do please do that because I do hop over and have a look and I read them out on my podcast. So I would love to hear from you. And she left this one to say, fantastic content. I found your podcast after hearing you feature on The Doctor's Kitchen. Uh, since the beginning of January, I have binge listened and finally caught up today when you released a podcast with Dr. Rupi. I've loved listening to them all. I've made lots of notes of things to go back and research further and will definitely be heading to my doctor for HRT when the time comes in the not too distant future. Thanks so much for sharing the knowledge and expertise of both you and your guests. Thank you very much. Talking about making notes, uh, this little notebook collection is going super well. So three little notebooks for all your important notes, whether you're listening to podcasts or shopping lists or whatever. They have little uh, well-being wisdom mottos on them. We will be selling them on the website for £7.50 for a little pack. We're just working out a few logistics on that at the moment. But we are offering them free. Yeah, my team have got a free deal with any signed book. So this is my personal favourite. This is the Lizard Wellbeing Yearbook number two. Um, yearbook number one, as you know, sold out and is out of print. You have to go to Readly to see that one, but full of seasonal recipes and beauty tips and botanical ideas and garden stuff and so much in there. So I do sign them. I don't know if I've signed this one, actually, this one. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, there you go. So I do sign them. I've got them here on my farm. I send them out. So if you're thinking about a present for somebody or you know Mother's Day, whatever, then you get your free notebooks. And that does come together, by the way. They come in a pack like that posted together um so that is that few other questions here oh my goodness so many supplements uh lots of people obviously watched this morning this was melanie on instagram my supplement shelf is growing and i often wonder is there such a thing as too many supplements is there a need for us to take so many not a criticism to your shelf just a general wondering that i have well, I think you're right to question. And, you know, when I first started writing about nutrition, which is 30 something years ago, I thought that actually diet, you know, we could just make up for it by having a general multivitamin, multimineral. It's a bit of an insurance policy. You know, let's just swallow the pills. Then I went away from that completely and thought, no, no, that's not the idea. It's all about food and eating well. And I still subscribe to that. However, I've come back to realize that there are some nutrients that are really helpful. Lots of you now getting your results in from the nutrigenomic testing, for example, showing that you don't process retinol or glutathione or vitamin C or, you know, lots of chat. We can talk about that another time. Um, but there are things that I think do genuinely help. So vitamin D, obviously, really important for the immune system. 
magnesium, really good for sleep and anxiety. And we know that through intensive agriculture and conventional farming, a lot of the soil is depleted with vitamin D and in really important microminerals like selenium. And topping them back up in the diet is really useful. And particularly if you are somebody who has restricted your eating, if you're excluding any major food groups, maybe you're not eating oily fish, you're not getting your omega-3s, maybe you're not eating meat, maybe you're not having dairy products. You know, these are things that are naturally so rich in lots of different nutrients, heme iron in red meat, for example, you've got choline and iodine in things like eggs, um, you've got your B12, which is really only available in animal produce unless you take a, a specific supplement like a nutritional yeast. So, you know, it's really important that you look at your own lifestyle, how you're living, what you're eating every day. And even if you are eating from, you know, all the major food groups, as I said, I think on this morning today, I bought some broccoli uh, last week and I've actually still got it in my fridge. I haven't eaten it yet. So it's getting older and the older it is, the more depleted it is in nutrients. And when I looked on the pack to see where it came from, I mean, it's organic, so I thought, well, that's good. Um, but it came from Spain. And obviously it's been harvested, refrigerated, trucked across Europe whenever, so the carbon footprint is not great. And it will be days, if not weeks old. So the nutritional value is, is less than if I'd you know, just gone out and picked it or had some from a farmer's market, which is why seasonal and local eating is always better if we can, because the produce tends to be higher in nutrients. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit of a long explanation, but I think there are certain things that are really helpful. And I'm going to record a little film and I'll pop that up on YouTube. So if you subscribe to YouTube, you will get a little notification about that, because I think that's something that we need to talk a little bit more about. Um... Oh, gosh, uh, lots of chat here about supplements for greens and smoothies. Yes, I am going to talk about those. Um, this is from <laughs> Blonde Bombshell. Hello. You say, hi, Liz, just watched you on this morning. Can I book a week at your house to be pampered and learn all your secrets? Your house is stunning and your recipe is delish. You should open a spa. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe after lockdown. Well, hopefully here everybody is, is welcome to my home. Um, I have to say, of course, you only show the good stuff on Instagram. You know, life isn't always, as we know, as, uh, as gloriously glowing as we would like it to be. Um, but Christina also says on Instagram, love all that you bring, Liz. Got my drops of slumber today, already on the drops of immunity and vitamin D and the capsules, love, life armor. Yep, they're still up on Liz Loves. Um, uh, got the toothpaste you spoke of, the homeopathic one, leaves a lovely fresh mouth. Berry powder en route now too. Off for a sunshine walk. See you soon. Thank you very much, Christine. I hope you made it back in time to watch me live. Oh, this is interesting. This was from Sarah, also on Instagram. Enjoyed this morning. So informative. Taking magnesium, already helping with sleep. Yeah, that's a good one. Have put Brazil nuts on the shopping list. Yeah, this is something that I shall um, talk a bit more about. If you didn't see me on this morning, Brazil nuts are a powerhouse of a micromineral called selenium. And I literally, my kids like roll their eyes whenever they see me approaching with this because I make them all eat a Brazil nut every day. So that has more than you need to combat any deficiency every day. I'm very tempted. Mm. Just to finish that one off too. Shouldn't have too many, by the way. You can't have too many Brazil nuts. Very high in selenium. So really good. Um, so that's an example of how you can add something into your diet. Don't go and buy the supplement. Buy some Brazil nuts instead. A um, lot of chat here about the menopause series that I put up on YouTube. Uh, this from um, Sumalaya. I hope I've said that correctly. Said, uh, this is a great video, Liz. Thanks for sharing your knowledge and research about the menopause. It's such an important and often overlooked subject when it comes to women's health. Your videos are very helpful. I will certainly be sharing the information amongst my friends. And I've been reading your book, The Good Menopause Guide, which is brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, it really is important to share. You know, that those comments, for example, that I picked up yesterday uh, over the weekend on the Menopause Doctor Instagram, some of them are just heartbreaking, you know, and, it, and it's life changing. This information for midlife women particularly and for younger women. You know, there are women in their 20s who've had chemotherapy or they've had an early onset menopause or they've had uh, cancer treatment 
or hysterectomies or whatever, and uh, just being devastated by not having the correct information about replacing hormones. Um, this from Leanne, actually, on YouTube, who says, I thought I was going crazy. Thank you so much for this information. I'm in Australia and no one talks about this. Well, hi to Australia. I hope you're watching this now, Leanne, on YouTube. Um, I often forget, actually, that it's not just us here in the UK, that, that the videos and the Facebook and YouTube and everything, it, it has a global reach. And it is really important. And, and some countries are better off than others. You know, I've got friends in Italy, for example, living in Rome, who, you know, when I talked to them about HRT, this was a couple of years ago now, they were like, they were saying, what do you, I mean, well, of course we're given hormones. You know, what, what, I mean, you know, when you get to 50, your doctor says you're going to need, need some estrogen. You know, why would your doctor not do that? So, you know, it's very interesting, isn't it, culturally and countrywide, um, how things are different. And also, you know, you can buy estrogen patches just from the pharmacy, over the counter in many countries. So I remember when there was a short shortage a year or two ago, I think there was people in Spain just, you know, sending them patches. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to be doing more um, on that series. Mimi, also on YouTube, says, I wish I would have found you. Um, that would have made this series a few years ago. I'm 48 and you were just answering so many questions, putting so many women right and making much more reassuring that I'm not old and broken as I feared. Isn't that awful? Age 48, women should be made to feel old and broken. I've always thought of myself and been thought of as young, strong, funny and quick. As of late, not so much. But I feel it's not a lost cause, just a blip while I find my path again. I'm on HRT, but I wonder if my strength might need to be increased. Very much look forward to the next episode and chapter. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's just so much. I could go on and on and on, but I won't because I've already been chatting here for just about an hour. Um, really important, if you are interested in HRT and that whole debate, do go to Liz Our Wellbeing. I've got a huge section. It's a free resource. Really, really important. Go to Healthy Menopause. It all comes up there. And um, there's a very good download that I wrote a while back now with my team, and we update it all the time. It's called The Truth About HRT really important has lots of information for you and for your GP and also you'll notice uh, regulars on my Lizard Wellbeing website that we've done a free download it's a PDF which is the Green's Climacteric Scale and that's something that GPs use to diagnose symptoms and you can go to the website you can print it off it's totally free you can print off several sheets if you like fill it in keep a track of your symptoms come back to it in a week a month whatever um, also really good once you do start getting your hormones sorted out and replaced to then go back a few months later and just monitor the difference. But of course, if you are using the gel, do make sure that you are using Easter gel and not Easter dose. Lots more on the website about that. Don't get me started on that one because I shall get really cross um, and I don't want to. I want to feel happy and positive and feel uh, end on a good note. Who can't not be positive with a bit of plumping blush? That's what I say. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Really nice to have you with me. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts. I'm sending lots and lots of hearts back. And uh, yeah, I'll be back here live on Wednesday, Wellbeing Wednesday. And who knows, I might even have had a delivery of the proper magazine by then that I can flick through and, um, and give you a little sneaky peek of that. But anyway, have a lovely day. Do leave me comments below if you would like to. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.